The main street resurfacing project was completed this past summer during the 2022 construction year. The purpose of this project was to extend the life of the road and delay replacement. The stretch worked on was 7th South to 21st South, being the largest resurfacing project completed by the Salt Lake City Streets Division. There are many steps to the process. Surface prep tasks include inlays, level patching, and crack sealing. The top layer of asphalt is milled down two inches to remove any issues causing ruts, cracks, or leaking. The area is swept, taking any remaining particles out of the picture. The section is then filled with new asphalt to provide a stronger underlayer to resurface. Over 3,000 tons of asphalt were laid down in this project. The next step is the main event, laying down the surface treatment. ACRS-2P oil is placed with type A chip seal aggregate, a type of angular rock, following right behind. Chips stick to the oil and get embedded into place as rollers and other vehicles drive on it. Water is mixed into the chip aggregate as a preventative measure against dust. A sweeper comes by once again to remove loose chips once the road has been embedded. A total of almost 30,000 gallons of oil and about 70 loads with 12 tons each of chips were put down. That's approximately 840 tons of chips. At all steps during the process, quality control is integral. All materials are tested to ensure they will not fail. If at any point during the process, the inspection crew sees there are issues with mixtures of oil or chips, then the process is stopped and re-evaluated. Sometimes that means getting new materials to fix the mixture. Sweepers test quality by checking all parts of the road, including the curb and gutter, for loose chips. If there are any left over, then the sweepers come back until it is cleaned up. This process is how SLC Streets provides quality assurance on their projects. After chips have been put down, they are given time to set. Following this setting, there is another layer of QSE oil applied called fog seal. This final sealant provides an additional protection against water while turning the road black to give aesthetic appeal. Fog seal oil is diluted with water, so it has a different thickness than the first oil laid down. Over 10,700 gallons of fog seal were put down on Main Street. During both phases where oil gets put down, there is a truck following behind to make sure that the seams are properly placed and that the oil is even across the whole street. This job is integral to ensuring quality of the final product. If the oil distributor fails in any way, it is this person's job to see it and let the driver know. Communication between crew members is imperative to project success. Once the surface treatment has been completed, in comes the paint crew. Starting with pedestrian crosswalks, they mark out the layout of the road. In this case, they had to completely change the layout because the design was remodeled to give bikes more access to the road. The striper has a driver as well as a person in the back who controls the timing and amount of paint coming out of the nozzle. Along with paint, they put down small glass beads that provide reflectivity. Once the paint dries, the road is complete. It now will keep water off and last approximately 7 to 10 more years before needing replacement. Surface treatments are a huge part of maintenance that not only save money, but also keep the city in better living condition.